Welcome back to episode 7 of this Napoleonic Total War 3 1805 campaign playing as the Emperor of France uh, the Empire of France but I suppose the Emperor of France as well is technically correct so I've done a few boring bits off camera um, had to uh, who are you? you're going you're going down to Florence or did I imagine that? Oh, I have more. So you're in, you're in somewhere. You're wandering around, so you're a new one. You're in somewhere, spy. So you're the one who should be on his way down to Florence. Yeah. So um, I've set to repair all of the structures that were destroyed during the rebellion. Might as well start moving him back up north um, including the drill school so I can actually recruit some soldiers there would be nice uh, I've kind of sorted this out so uh, in response to Prussia declaring war strong armies Prussians presumably are going to have very good quality troops so their capitals there they're loaded with army stacks um, Sweden yeah Sweden's doing some as well so I've assembled a decent army under Bernadotte in Hanover. Um, I've set up a trade agreement with Oldenburg. They're going to have to going to have to wait to do something with that because Cleves is a priority. That's in my um, kind of rear zone. I don't want that army sallying out and doing damage. And we've got an Austrian army that are um, threatening our peace and livelihood down here so I think the first job is to take her and there's some money to spend but I fancy a scrap <laughs> so um, I think they might have the numbers on me but let's see what we can do here. oh ok they haven't got the numbers on me we like this uh, right lights uh, lights line veteran line muskets Is this, is this a Russian army? I thought it was Austrian, but maybe. Okay, I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, so two cav, a big old six-pounder horse artillery, some guard infantry, decent quality. Okay, yeah, we'll have a go at this. Right, here we go. We get a bit of intel first. Turns out these are Russian, not Austrian. Hmm. I don't suppose they're going to be by themselves, really. I can't see him. See much from there. No, I'm not going to get that, am I? Uh, I don't suppose they're going to do much looking at it. They're just going to sit on the reverse of the hill. <coughs> okay. Gentlemen, limber up. essentially blind isn't it until well pretty much all of the way Hmm. 
Yeah, they're not doing anything, are they? So this is a uh, this is an infantry march to the brow of the hill, crest the hill, open up. through, all to get to the flank, uh, militia, I guess you can support the Voltigear, and Devoe to there, the Tin Pot Boys over there. ground formation there chaps, don't know if that's intended but beautifully done right how far can you go before you're spotted quite a long way you can get to there Softly, softly, catchy monkey thing. Oh, they're firing. Are they going to hit anything? I don't think so. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oops. Got some nice gardening. much ignore everything up to that ridge. shellacking when the time comes. Better get your gross frares out. Mm. And they're still churning up the ground. Use for the militia. Yes. I have a use for you. So I think they're the light troops from memory, so. My boys can probably worry them a bit. There we go, still trying to spin. Still bouncing ricocheting over, that's good. 
to force you into action, I think it is. If we're lucky. They all bring the fight for us. We won't have to do anything. Flank on them. Fantastic. We'll keep doing that. I'll just sit behind this ridge for a time being. Excellent. So what have we got here? We've got a decent battery. Chaps. There's their guards. Come on, dudes. Gonna wriggle them. Yeah, they're just skin on the ground at the minute. Really? They recovered? over there. Actually, I can't provoke him into an assault. Yeah, so they're winded now, but... So is to get the infantry engaged and pull them out of position so that I can strike with cab when they're not expecting it. Charging back as before as my fools are in. But they did outsmart my um, carab carabiniers. Carabinier. Hmm. 
seems to have the range of my dimple chaps. Uh, cover them. We got there, so there's a bloody great big cavalry unit and them. I can't even snipe the buggers. advantage. You will effectively be the, the guard of the gun. If I do that. Took some losses going in, but they're into them by less than gone good. Some of their lights gone. I shall hunt them down. Because we can. So they're still shooting into the ground there. Cool. <laughs> the place. Took, took an eye out with that, if I'm not careful. I finished these buggers off there, we don't know. Right, come on, get up there. We're all waiting for you. Come on! Leave now! Right, so... Just hang around there. Nobody will know you're there. And I might be able to use you. Ah, finally, right, bloody hell. Let's see if we can't take some of that fucking guard cavalry out. Soften up this guard cab. Can I see them? Ooh, that's close. Just out of range. Right, so they're aligning. Okay. 
some of that right now reserve. Right. So, Mr. Gunn, are you doing any damage? Not, not a sausage. Okay. That was a waste of time. <laughs> My coming plan didn't work. On the ground there. Got a few. Just out of range of that. Look at that. Annoying. Uh, okay. I guess. Got to take a chance then. Advance them up. Out of sight of the cannon. Advance them up. Again, out of sight of the cannon. Right, here we go. Three pronged assault. Take a few of them out, not enough, but a few. So trying to encourage their cavalry to charge me so I can form square, break the cavalry, then go in with the infantry. Seems to be working. So now they are. Here we go. They woke them up. Coming. Enough. 
Ooh, general staff, come on. Hello, boys. All the smidge now we're engaging. Excellent. If I sneak them in, it's asking probably a bit much, but. Did the cavalry down. Oh, God. Bloody chaos, whatever they did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Might be time to run out of there, Jack. Come on. I mean, there's a fantastic horseshoe effect thing going on there. Let's keep going. Get them out of position. We have killed their general, sir. Now we live a strike. Surely that's going to really piss them all off. You are going to get away, but that's all right. Wow. How the hell are they standing? Hello, gentlemen. You will get a rest soon. Oh, yeah. Huh. These musket jewels last an age. So there's nobody left behind. There's nobody left over there. There's no Napoleon or anybody unusual like that. Don't shoot him, good man. That should be 
are probably best. Oh, and you're getting wounded. That's not a lot of use, is it? I've certainly exhausted my cavalry again, and I'm using them rather a lot in this game. Fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. So they're fresh, good. You go after the guard camp. You can have a rest. Okay, that's good. So they are folding. Good. The guard cab have gone. Play him now. Come on. <laughs> God, this has been a, a good half hour battle. This victory, isn't? sir, is soon to be yours. Yes, I know. And. Once we get the end battle thing, I shall of course continue off camera and I'll fade in when, um, when it's done. They're tired, they're very tired, but at least they're still going. Good, good. some party action. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Right, so I think it's safe to say this one's done even though the, the thing hasn't come up. So I think I'll stop recording here because this has gone on for a long time as well. And um, come back with the uh, butcher's block. Blimey. Nous sommes puissants et invaincus. That was a scrap. Still, we gave him a bloody good drubbing. En avant, marchez. En avant. So you can cabine. rebuild. That annoying little Austrian. Oh, uh, really? That's not going to do anything annoying like go through the pass through the Alps and uh, take out Innsbruck or something. That would annoy me. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the end of that very long episode. Uh, yeah, no, nothing else to do on this one. So, um, yeah, I'll be back to carry on next time. See you soon. Ta-da.